Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Put's Garage. In this episode, we're going to start putting the engine back together. Got some plastic gauge here. So we're going to assemble the engine and then take it apart and see if the clearances are all good. <coughs> Couldn't find the workshop manual on the computer, so I've got it up on my phone. Which makes it a bit easier, more portable, and I've got pad over here I can just write the numbers down um, yeah let's get stuck into it I will most likely do this build over quite a few episodes so stay tuned I'll try to keep them around 15-20 minutes per um, upload so let's get stuck into it alright so just going through the phone it's going to take a little while to do this this is all the clearances for the valve, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. It's going to be easy to find because we've got 779 pages. So let's do a screenshot. Okay guys, I've got baking tray here, it's got petrol in it, um, so we're going to cook up a crank, so we need to clean where the bearings are going to go on for the connecting rods, so we're going to get that plastic gauge in there, um, so clean that up and blow out the oil delivery holes and uh, get stuck into it. Hey guys, we are going to put the bearings in to the connecting rods. Now we want to be putting these in in a clean environment, so that's why I've got the petrol there. So we've got the front of the crank. And these dimples here face the front. So you can see there's a little groove there. We have a little groove in the bearing. Alright, so make sure they're nice and clean. It's got some petrol there that will evaporate. So this bit here should clip nicely into there cool clean it up and then again here it goes in like so make sure they're nice and flush so this is where we put the plastic gauge. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit. So if, if you haven't seen it before, that's what it is. Just a very small amount. I'm just going to put it across the bearing. So when you talk it down, it's actually going to spread and then you gauge it on there. So do it on the back one. So we're going to talk it to 44.6. Oh, 
Better. Let me measure it with this one. <coughs> so go looks like it's two twenty thousand. Two twenty thousand. So we got connecting rod bearing. Oil clearance. Twenty. All right, the back one is all good. Let's put that on permanently. So I'm gonna put some oil on there. Put my oil in. Looks like honey. In the Chinese shop. Hope it's not actually. No, it's not. Alright. Sure. <clears throat> it's all nice and clean. Check again. It's good. Pretty good. Leave that in there for now. So this is all good. Yep. Then I'm just going to put a, a thin film of oil. So we've got that little groove facing up, so on the other side we'll have it facing down. I'm going to make sure, actually, <laughs> it's facing down. This is pointing towards the front. So make sure the blank sides are facing each other and the letters are facing each other. Just got this last one to do. Then we will be done for the connecting rods. Nice rainy day here in Melbourne again. Alright, talking it up to 44.6. Keeping it even, plenty of oil in there. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Uh, Therapeutic. It's been the hardest one actually. There we go. There we go. Got plenty of oil in there. Alright, so next up we'll be sitting it in half the engine block. Stay tuned for next episode. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and share. Bye.